We're back. We're alive. I'm excited. Yes, sir. I missed a couple of days. I know. I know. It's my fault. Wait, it's not even a couple of days. I'm, I missed one day, chat. And I'm sorry about that. I, I actually had some work to do. I woke up, did the work, and now I'm back. Now we're back. You know what I'm saying? No, but on the real though, I got a crazy one for you today. Look at this. Hold on. Hold on. Now my phone. I'm about to put it on. I'm just trying to pull up something real quick. Go away. Alright, today I got a crazy fight for you chat, if you haven't read the title, which I'm pretty sure you have, wait let's record, so yeah, today I got a crazy one for you, Cell Junior Little Man versus Blonde Bimbo, fuck I can't read, Blonde Bimbo in an MMA match, bro, let's just get to it, it already sounds crazy, let's get to it, I haven't even watched this yet, we're about to watch it together, Fighting championship between this. Oh my, is she getting ready to fight in the ring or the bedroom? Ooh, Let me know if it's on. a ladder because if she needs an opponent, you know it. <laughs> and her opponent. Hey, I, oh, I, whose I, kid yeah. is this? That's a grown man. Well, semi grown man. Where you going, little fella? There he is. Little I really need to sit behind. Bro, this guy, I love his commentating, bro. I love his commentating. The scenes and get into a boardroom meeting to figure out why Kingpin sets up these fights. It's Princess Peach versus Toad <laughs> in an intergender MMA battle. Okay. They got the best ring girl out here, you know what I'm saying? Round one, fight. Uh -huh. What the hell? First off, what were those punches? Second off, he was trying to... You don't touch gloves. She she wasn't even having none of that. What was that? Uh, what kind of punches? Uh, Is she trying to tickle him with her fist? Come here. Oh. No, please. He's going straight for the table. He's pounded her. Here comes the ground and pound. <laughs> <laughs> Who said this oh, match together, no. bro? The That's little man wants know. to throw hands. He wants to stand and fight. This Ooh. got to be the worst takedown attempt I've ever seen in my life. <laughs> what in tarnation is she <laughs> doing? How did she get put into this fight? There isn't a cram of athletic DNA in this woman's body. She's meant to be a What's social going like on? fighter. <laughs> is this for you how she fights? Bro, her fights are like, like, like what? Bro, I'm loving this. Hold on. <laughs> Had little man hit that spine buster on an action figure, he would have done damage. But against a human, it's nothing more than a mosquito bite. This might be the most confusing, disturbing fight I've ever seen. It's less of a Literally. battle and more of a fully clothed, soft core adult film. They tussling in there. Less action, more friction. <laughs> By the end of the first round, I don't know if they should give out water in a towel or a condom in a towel. He's motorboating her. He's motorboating her. <laughs> He's motorboating her. <laughs> Bro, I love this kind of theater. Come here. Ah. Who the hell is this interfering harlot? Why is the referee not trying What's to get her the hell up out the octagon? Who? What? Who is she? Uh, she just come at come a surprise impromptu. She wants to fight him now. Wait, hold on. Two handicap match? Or has the third wave feminism activated the female privilege causing the referee <laughs> to not be able to discipline this woman? That's got to be the most confusing conclusion to a first round I've ever seen. Grant, <laughs> there was barely any action, but how the hell this woman just interfered and the referee let it ride? What the fuck? A no good, lousy son of a hey, hey, fuck you, you fucking whore. Someone get her some crack. She need to chill down. <laughs> I'm joking, don't do crack, kids. She just looked like she's already going there out. Can somebody explain what the hell she is? Can someone please let me know where they have these matches at? Bro, can someone please let me know? What the They're fuck doing, is this? She looked like a faulty immune system. She can't <laughs> fight for shit. She's been on her back so many times in this battle. I'm surprised this match ain't on OnlyFans. They switching so much positions. I'm pretty sure they learned <laughs> how to fight from a Kama Sutra novel. From a Kama Sutra Oh. Oh lord, not again! This harlot keeps interfering! What? 
Look, I'm not trying to be fucked up, but I don't think he's tall enough to put her in this kind of position and let her tap out. I I'm not trying to be fucked up, I'm just saying. What kind of cheat code did she activate to enable interference in the midst of a finishing move? Referee looking like Sweden in World War II. He ain't doing nothing! When Martin Luther she? King said injustice and he the threat to justice everywhere, clearly this motherfucker wasn't the, listening. The, the arm bars being relinquished in. due to in-ring moral support. Who hired this referee? He's as useful as a pack of maxi pads at an all boys school. Little man is already vertically challenged, but now he has to battle his ops and her reinforcements with. <laughs> bro, this guy commentated, bro. Oh my god. If the referee uh, in his. Bro, honestly, I have nothing to say about this. I think I'm gonna just watch. There's no, I'm speechless. Opponent's pockets? I haven't seen this much lopsided this. bias since game six of the 2002 Western Conference Finals. Oh! You can't give this man's noggin a vlog. Coke and can. Brad, what are you doing? This smacked the right across the forehead, bro. That was a funny shit. I gotta see that one more time. Hold on. Since bro, that was a funny shit. 2002 Western Conference Finals. She even tried punching his ass. She missed. And then she goes for the slap. No. no! You can't give this man no. noggin a floggin! Coke and kick! Oh. Raph, what are you doing? <laughs> that harlot just slapped and kicked this man and you just gonna let her stand He's in the so middle kicking. of the ring? Little man is pleading with the official to do something She's and this man ain't doing nothing! <laughs> I thought midgets were a protected class! Ain't this considered a hate crime? That sexual assault! She tugging on his underwear! And despite all this, the OnlyFans model appears to be dehabilitated, but the referee can't seem to contain the interfering assailant! I I don't get why he doesn't start whooping her ass. She keeps whooping his ass. But he keeps going back to her. All this sipping won't get your pussy. Call the fight down the. Bro. Look how she at. Please look how she at. All this sipping won't get your pussy. Call the fight down the middle, you piece of garbage. Nah, but it's too much. Best match ever right here. The best match on this is the worst match. Their punches was like a little teddy bear punching you. I'm not trying to be fucked up, but what's going on here? And then why is she in the ring? Why is she in the ring? I don't get it. I don't get it. This is all confusing to me. On two different occasions, he applied an arm bar that would have been punching both of them. For whatever reason, this all has been allowed to interfere. Does she have access to the search history of the referee? Does she know what he did at band camp in 2003? This is getting out of hand. We need law and order. Bro, I can't even control this guy's voice. It goes up and down, up and down. So, by popular demand, instead of kicking her out of the ring, we're going to make this a handicap match. What? Great. What's going on? <laughs> I thought that was part of the match. They made this injustice legal. This dwarf got a fight against the entire world. <laughs> they not even gonna feed him after the fight. <laughs> not even what gonna feed him after the fight. The sun is here, and I know you're trying no. to get your body right, so let me help you with HelloFresh. HelloFresh delivers fresh. Come on, but I know you're trying to get your bag, but to your doorstep so you can savor some I'm trying to get right my home. And since it's a sus olive oils, fiber pack, and meal prep is recycled. Yeah, damn, bro, you trying to get that big bag, ain't you? I can't believe what we just saw. Shorty interfered in not just one round, but both rounds, and somehow gets rewarded. That's like somebody I breaking know. and entering into your house, and then they get to put their name on the lease. Fuck that. We rolling with little man. Chop Sue better whip her ass. Ooh, ooh, ooh. He's, he's mad at her. He's taking it all out. She was smacking him, kicking him, and he's mad at her. Look at that. Oh, Lord. Just when he was beginning to whip her ass, this is turned... Does she think she's doing anything? Does <laughs> she think she's damaged? Why is she Bro. assaulting this man's butt cheeks? <laughs> what kind of rogue prostate <laughs> exam is this? What the? Get happy. Get back up. 15 minutes could save you 15% or more. That man just got humped. Where is the referee? She just humped him. What is going on? She's pulling her teammate like that. Well, what's hilarious is the fact that little man completely disregarded Blondie. He don't care about her at all. He wants, to the to he wants to be He wants revenge. He has no business with you. 
<laughs> Why is she punching his butt? I don't get it. Why does she keep touching this man's butt? Wait, Why? 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 Why are the organizers breaking up the fight? I'm so confused right now. Why is there no referee in the octagon? Little man is at the biggest disadvantage in fighting history. And he's oh my God. the same game plan. <laughs> Fuck up that interfering harlot. I'm not finished with you. <laughs> but that damn butt cheek obsessed bimbo keeps getting in the way of <laughs> justice. That fucking Did she noise graduate too? from a oh PhD in proctology? Why is her first location to punch the butt cheeks? She's doing no damage. Really? She's a human back scratcher right now. Why is her hand going lower? <laughs> they should have thrown Blondie out of the ring and let She's the going fight lower every time. She is there serving absolutely no purpose. No, Imagine bro. trying to achieve what is she it. Doing? It's going to be tickled while you do it. Oh, yeah. Ooh, easy tough, though. Little man ran right into a breast. Yo. Yo, the way he started it, he was out for revenge. He threw her down and started going ham on her face, bro. Look Slammed at this. Slammed shorty to bah, the ground bah. and to give her the beat spot. Bro, the whole match, he did not throw hard punches like this. As soon as he got to fight her, he was like, I'm done. <laughs> I'm I'm done. Great, but right before I'm he could done. deviate her septum, fans got sat on and humped. That hairy <laughs> Krillin was manhandling oh, her, only to get interrupted by this blonde <laughs> bimbo. Imagine what this fight could have been if man <laughs> ain't get screwed. Now it's gonna kick your ass, right? Oh, you want to hug her? He said no. You can make a mockery of my promotion. Go beat his ass. <laughs> Wait a minute, they about to jump the little man for surviving the fight? Get your bitch ass off of him. What's wrong with y'all? Go. Wait, is this for... No one's trying to help him. No one's trying to stop it. I don't get this. Go kick his ass, you Russian this. Cyberman. How dare they set you up like that? The platoon of Snake Eyes have entered the octagon, trying their best to prevent a skirmish, a fracas, so a kerfuffle, a brawl. What is going on in Russians the octagon in right now? Everyone jumped in. By unanimous decision, half man, half... Well, well then again, he can't be half man, half amazing, because he's already half man. They can't be another half. Let's just say the human Kirby left with a victory. Oh, look, <laughs> this crying. guy is so ah, funny. Jesus, up. would you leave this man's butt cheeks alone? What the hell is that? She really what came back for one time, one more time, spank his ass. She really liked that. <laughs> no, nah, but the, the, that was fucking fair. Oh my god, bro. This was gold. It was gold. <laughs> Who sets these matches? That's what, that's what I want to know. Who sets these matches together? <laughs> Oh my, uh, who pays to go watch these? Let me just, all right. If you watch it on YouTube, bro, did you know 99% of you is not subscribed? Please subscribe, no, hit the notification, like, comment down what you think. Let's go, we're going crazy, baby. Peace. All right, life, now that we're alone. What you doing? I'm just joking, I'm just joking. Oh, I don't roll that way. I don't know if you guys roll that way, but I don't roll that way. Yo, there, there was one more like, uh, let me see if I can find it. Honestly, hold on. Hold on, hold on. Where was it, bro? Hold on, let me go back. I'm pretty, I'm pretty sure it was by the same guy. So if we go over here, we go down to his channel. All right, so boom. Videos. Oh, was it? I literally saw it before I put the first one on. I had to put the first one on though. That that was just <laughs> it had to be watched. Bro, am I tripping? Mm. You miss skeletons box each other? Okay, where did it go? The smallest chance. Ooh, okay, she she got booty. But 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 we're not here for that. We need to focus. Found the best match that I know I can't find. Is this who is setting these matches up? Blindfolded. Bl Whenever I got anxious.
chest, I would hit my vein. I don't they think it made peace of mind, but if Is this for real right now? <laughs> Are you for real right now? Are you for real on you? <laughs> I, I, I don't, I don't, I don't steal my thumbnails, but I don't know what you guys are talking about. What? Me? Do that? The fuck? I never do that shit. Are you serious right now? You know what? Are you... We just need to change something real quick. But I don't know what's wrong with me. I'm sorry, chat. I don't, I don't have the hype today. I'm like mellow. I feel sleepy. I don't know what's wrong with me. Uh, What was it? Oh, yeah. Make a blind, blind folders and a file. Just like that, we ain't tripping. No, we ain't. I am tripping. Don't look at me I like that. It. it was a fake form of confidence. I was nervous all the time. Vaping made my anxiety worse. Ooh, damn. They got them lizards out there. They got those lizards out there. <laughs> Alright, so we'll walk back to Old Mind Nugget Studios once again for another oh, wow. epic fighting championship exhibition. And it appears we've got a tag team match once again between these two college dropouts that were also denied entry into trade school. College they had dropout. dreams of being accountants, and now look at them. They work as meter maids during the weekdays, on, brother, and their opponents, brothers on their father's side because their mother <laughs> was a fucking Fucking hard. What the fuck was that a Spiro? Look at this nincompoop. He thinks he's Rob Van Dam. Nevertheless, okay. this is a non-title tag team match. It's <laughs> They're actually oh, blindfolding them. Why are you blindfolding them? Why ain't no fucking way, boy? For the first round, they gonna fight blindfolded. What the hell is this? Only he for the first the round. Ruthless promoter in the fight game. Why is he the way he is? Wait, only two of them are blindfolded. <laughs> and the music he puts behind her. Okay, no, nah, bro, no, nah, they, 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 they need to check this guy's blindfold. He needs to be, I mean, he seems like he's seeing good. I'm just saying, they need to check it. They only have one commentator. <laughs> Oh, he's whooping his ass. We only 50 seconds into the first round. <laughs> Why does he keep getting up and putting his hand like that? Like, boy, you give me your ass whipped. He's been on his back twice. So you know what Kingpin says? Let's blindfold everybody. Both teams about to be blindfolded for the remainder of the first round. I wonder what's going to happen to the two new blindfolded fellows. Hands. Ooh, like a new ooh. lung cancer patient. They're going at it. God damn. Ref had to separate him and 
got punched in the back <laughs> for it, all while Red Shorts on the other end got another takedown. <laughs> he got slammed four times and decided to take out his frustration on other Red Shorts teammates. Fuck the blindfold! Imagine, imagine. You, you tell your parents, hey, I have this big fight coming up, please watch to support me. And then they come to watch, and then they blindfold you and make you look stupid. And the, oh my god, like, what is, what is going on? What is going on? And, and, and real now, I'm not gonna lie, this guy right here, he, he seems like he's good, but they're embarrassing him. But okay, now they have the blindfolds off. Let's see what happens. On two begin straight out the gate. Team Red just naturally aggressive. How you in attack mode by default? We interviewed their mama after the fight, and she said they see, see what I mean? He just went big ass. That dude. Get his ass fucking demolished. Look at it. Yo, what's up, RK? Welcome back to the stream, brother. I remember you. Others might miss, but homie on the cage, he getting fucked up. No, nah, he he whooped his ass. Oh, that now it's two on one. Oh, this guy is fucked. Now it's two on one. Ooh, he is fucked. He's not even fighting back. Ooh, 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 ooh. Coming from the back, trying to save his homie. <laughs> He literally just got knocked down and he's back into it. I can't let you get close. Look at the look on the face of Red Shorts. Mans was aggressive for the last three and a half minutes. He's almost immobilized and afraid to punch. Welcome. I know he he ran out of gas. He fucked him up, but now he's out of gas. He can't even fight no more. Black Shorts ends the first round with a knockdown. Business has officially picked up. We opened up this fight with a blindfolded first round that transformed. Nah, this was crazy. This was crazy. Then Kingpin finally said, fuck the blindfolds. Red Shorts. Bro, you cannot tell me this guy could not see. You cannot tell me this guy could not see. Like, how could he go for a perfect clean takedown? Look at this. Look at this. Goes for a clean takedown. Red Shorts was washing black. How was your day? My day has been good, bro. How, how about you? How was your day? What you been up to? I mean, for me, my day just started. It's 11 a.m., but at 3 30, I gotta go get a haircut. And at 5, I'm meeting up with my homies. You know, the day just started. But how was your day? How, how, how you been? You know All of a sudden, this man got a Zenkai boost, pulled out the hands of Master Roshi and Dragon Ball, and then his teammates hit the other red shorts. Ooh. So fast. God damn, he knocked him out so bad. He made his bro, he made his head go all over the place. Like <laughs> he literally went all over the place. That was crazy knockout. And there's another round. And these fucking ring girls, bro. What is this? What is this? Are they giving him CPR? Looks like the second round started the same way the other one did. I guess Red Short starts everything aggressive. No wonder his girlfriend is sitting ringside with a sign that says Go Minute Man Go. Go Minute Man Go. Bro, this commentator is the best. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Looking like Sami Zayn and Kevin. Yeah, damn, they going at it. Each other into the cage and feeling the friction of their epidermis against each other. Bro, these two keep swinging wild and Marvel. Punch! Oh shit! He got hit by a drive by in this fight. He's a weird guy. He got hit by a drive by. Final second of the second round. Watch out for that banana! Ooh, he got dropped again, bro. Ooh, now he dropped him. Oh shit! You can't even Second tell who's winning. Look at this. This man's nose was already lacerated. No, bro. And by the way, they started this match blindfolded. The first round it was blindfolded. No, nah, this is gold right here. I don't know who thinks of setting these fights up. Ooh, 
I agree. At first they were open, yes. They were open, yes. Kinda. Make a wish kid. Wait. No way. Make a wish kid versus mushroom tomboy. Hold on. We have to watch this one. Make a wish. Bro, they make the funniest one. The funny. Oh, wow. Uh, let me record this. Do I know Khabib, bro? Who doesn't know the legend Khabib? He he's a legend. You can't lie. Isn't he like 27 and 0 or 29 and 0, something like that? Hey, he he's a legend. What the fuck is going oh, on? Oh lord, we're back at it again with an epic fighting championship bizarre matchup. It appears the promotion dragged in two pedestrians who didn't read the terms and agreements on whatever purchase they may have possibly had, and they're forced to fight in Russia. Oh Watch my god. Run. They don't seem scared at Bro, all. Bro, I don't know who sets these up, but I bet you anything is Putin. <laughs> Putin wants to see these fights. He's like, bro, what if two people fight, fight or four people fight blindfolded? You know what? Do it, do it. Because <laughs> they listen oh, to him over there. Opponent? It's me. It's me. It's D. What the fuck is going on here? We have a handicap match. This lanky woman is looking to teach these two boys the lesson in women's history. Oh my, she 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 bigger than them, and clearly she's menacing. Yo, she this is. Oh my god, another two dudes versus one woman. What what is going on in Russia, bro? What is they don't have equal rights? I mean, <laughs> clearly not. Clearly not. This is the second it's time they do this. It's a two-on-one handicap match. I'm not gonna lie. I, I, I'm not gonna lie, bro. I'm it's not gonna lie. She's looking scary as fuck. I, I, I wouldn't want to fight her while she's looking like that. Look at that. She, she's looking like she's ready to kill. Two-on-one she's handicap ready to kill. match. <laughs> Let's see it. Ooh. Wait, no. <laughs> <laughs> What's that boy? Look at him. He's like. like... <laughs> it only took about ten seconds to already decipher that she's not trapped in the ring with two dudes. Those two dudes are trapped in the ring with her. The shorter one looks like a character that's been. Selected. They're trapped Nobody in the ring with her. With. That's a fact. He's about to fuck him up. It looks like. But clearly, Shorty is unfazed. <laughs> <laughs> boy, the is you need to step clearly. up your game. What is history. this? He keeps getting knocked out. <laughs> Look, what? Homie tried to play pop. What? He, he had the perfect opportunity to give her a, a good over right hand, but instead he pushed her away. What the uh, fuck? So just to get up what is wrong with these dudes? This man is a criminal, <laughs> and surprisingly enough, he's not even the most confusing individual on his team. Why is the lanky one not attacking? All he's done all day is try to faint forward and then flee back. He's done more hopscotch than fight. Bro, the fat one decided he wanted to take a lap. What's the chromosome count on this team? Wait. What? That other dude should just stop. He should just stop. He literally keeps trying to attack and keeps getting knocked the fuck out. What's go what is going on? What is going on? Look at this. Clearly, this fat brother is concussed. Why are you laying on the floor getting in the way of his teammates pacing? Shorty begging for the lane. This man was back and forth. This man's afraid There's to throw no a punch. Way. Look at the Look at him. One. He's flummoxed, confused. He's trying to escape. <laughs> this is not a cage match, stupid. <laughs> He's trying to escape. He's actually trying to escape. I've never seen anything. There's no way he's trying to escape. Bro, he's actually trying to escape. His teammate getting pieced up within his vicinity. Oh no! Oh no! And you still trying to leave? The chubby one decides to go join the military, only to go a wall at the first battle. This is the worst round I've ever seen in this promotion. He's trying to run out. He's like, I'm done. I got knocked out way too many times. They're not even letting him out. Look at this. Why he thought it was a good idea to try to escape, and his trainer looked familiar. Where have I seen him before? Straight out the gate. Get his ass whooped, yo, yo. And that other dude was just holding on to that other. What is going on with these matches, bro? What is, is that Naruto? The teacher just as bad as the student. 
How the hell you and handicap matches? You get your ass whipped and now your students too? It's the blind leading the blind or the fat leading the fat. And considering the look of these two gentlemen, how don't we know this isn't a make-a-wish sort of situation? <laughs> make a wish this. I'm here to tell you right he now. He's there to make a way. Oh, my God, bro. I believe it. Man's got hit so hard in his earlobe, he can't hear. How is he going to use his Raycons now? And now a word from our sponsors. Hey, Summer is here. I know you're going to be outside. Hey, bro. This guy has so much sponsors. He's trying to get the bag back. You prefer... And their ring girls are just... Mwah, fabulous. <laughs> just fabulous. He should, bro, he should stop attacking every time he gets knocked. Bro, imagine someone looking at you like that. That, that is scary. I, if I was him, I would run. I swear I would run. Looks like you're about to get tongued. Oh, Lord, he's lagging. His control is glitching. <laughs> he moving like he's trying he's to get lagging. his body out of quicksand. He Why said he's he lagging. He said that looks control. like he's lagging. He's like <laughs> pressing the same buttons, but he's lagging. <laughs> Bro, I it's I don't even know. I don't even know if it's serious or not. It cracks me up. It's way too much. Like who even sets these fights up? Who who sets them up, bro? It's literally so bad. She kicked him one time. That's it. He went on the ground. <laughs> <laughs> Damn, just gonna finish and she walks out. She, she doesn't even Latin try finishing him. Again, Look at this. The first five seconds, and nah, then bro. The other into oblivion. Why wait <laughs> the Avengers step near your deathbed to know you fixed the octagon, you know your last days are upon you. Look at this. <laughs> 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 The tomboy takes the victory by two knockouts. By you don't two need to be in these gimmick fights. Put her she in the ring against both Kingpin. Why he's standing so far fight. away? He was up close on the last Harlan who won. You had the lips whoa, for both of Why don't you got the lips whoa. for this? Uh, close on the last whoa. Harlan who won. You see, you, you see how he's touching her and she's like all backing up. She's like, nah, bro, I don't want you. The ref had to step in. He's like, bro, move. Get your ass back, bro. What, what, what are you doing? <laughs> the lips for Baldy. Why don't you got the lips for this tomboy? That son of a bitch. <laughs> this place is on the new oh, management. <laughs> I order of the thinking line. She was like, honestly, it was pretty easy. I didn't even have to try. <laughs> like, to be honest. <laughs> that was fucking gold, bro. That was gold. Uh, oh, fuck. That made me laugh again. so hard. My teeth hurt. I don't mean my butt cheeks, alright chat? I mean my cheeks. <laughs> alright, let me see. Team mass shooter ambush. Bad. We're not gonna watch that. If you laugh, you reset the video. Yo, should we do this? If you laugh, we gotta reset the video. But you, you know me, I'm not gonna laugh. Let me, let me, let me do that. If we laugh, oh no, no, not not if we if uh, oh no, it's me. If I laugh, I re video boom, just like that. Laugh. Okay. Okay. Wait, let me see if I can. No, never mind. All right, let's get it. You guys know the rules. If we laugh, we gotta reset the video. But you know what? Yeah, my poker face on for this one. Goddamn, <laughs> oh, God. Alara yelling already. Nah, bro, I'm a Walmart. <laughs> That's a huge porno.
portion, I'm probably not going to eat the whole thing. <laughs> Search for a plastic surgery. Is it bad? Fail. Oh my god, what the fuck? Yo. Does she actually look like that? Hold on, we, we need to see this one. Hold on, hold on, we, we, we need to change the title, we need to change the title. Bro, she looked creepy. That, that, that looked, nah. The plastic surgery industry is booming as people spend their entire life savings not on property or investing wisely in business, but on much more valuable forms of wealth, such as a booty like Kim Kardashian's. And plastic surgery has been around for a while now, meaning it's mostly pretty safe, but not always. There's plenty of room for error in cosmetic surgery, from the guy who spent the cost of a small home on surgery, to the woman with the seventh the largest breasts. Yo, hold on. Is that titty bigger than that? <laughs> bro, this one looks bigger than that one, bro. What is going on over here? Yeah, nah, that looks weird. That, worst that looks weird. Plastic surgery. One looks bigger than the other. <sighs> Number 20, Justin Jedlisha. Slavic American Justin Jedlisha often known as the human Ken doll, has gained worldwide recognition as a result of his extensive cosmetic surgery what regimen. What has he done with his At face? At the age of 17, Chad Alicia started researching his first cosmetic treatment, rhinoplasty, which he completed a year later. Chad Alicia was inspired by viewing lives of the rich and famous as a teenager, and he regarded body sculpting and cosmetic surgery as symbols of the affluent, glamorous lifestyles he wanted to mimic. Due to his parents' disapproval of cosmetic improvements, Jet Alicia was compelled to wait until he was of legal age. Yeah, I'm not gonna lie, his face is looking creepy. It looks like a toy, like, nah, bro. And look at his arms. They look like they're broken. What the fuck is to going on? Decisions. I'm not trying exactly to be fucked up, but what's going on? Reaching the age of 18, Jet Alicia had his first cosmetic treatment, which was to restore his nose. Jet Alicia has done roughly 190 cosmetic operations as of 2012, according to his website. What's up, Rhinoplasty, fuck? chest implants, shoulder implants, bicep implants, triceps implants, brow shaving and lifts, cheek augmentations, subpectoral implants. This motherfucker. He, do he doesn't even hit the gym. He just got implants. What the fuck? Plants, cludoplasty, this guy. and lip augmentations are some of the procedures that have been performed. Jet Alicia does not have any facial hair. Botched, a television program about cosmetic surgery gone bad, featured him in the sixth and seventh seasons. The eldest of four siblings, Jet Alicia was born in Poughkeepsie, New York, and raised there. Before we go on, like this video, smash the subscribe button, and click the notification bell right now, or this centipede will crawl on your oh, face when you're sleeping. Fuck off, don't say that. Perfect ideal of 21st oh, things wait. a little too far in a topic. I wanna watch this Here's one. Here's one woman who maybe took things a little too far in her quest to resemble the perfect ideal of 21st century Instagram beauty. Some say she's amazing. Others think that she looks a little unsubtle. But hey, if it makes her happy, then why not? Apparently the surgeon got a little creative and did way more than she even asked for though, but she decided she liked her new look after all. Origi Bro, she's definitely gonna be in my dream, I can tell you this right now. What the fuck is this? Look at her nose, her lips. And her neck, bro, what the f- why? Why would you do that? 
Unfortunately, she only. I want to see a picture of how she used to look back then. I bet you she used to look so beautiful and she just ruined it. What the fuck? She's definitely gonna be in my nightmares. I. Oh. They wanted it. Why did she do removed, that? But the plastic surgery Picasso had other ideas. What do you think about this kind of surgery? Would you like to have a distinctive look like this? Remember to comment down below with That's the hashtag crazy. rare topic and let us know your opinion in relation to what we just showed on screen. And now to the next topic. Number 19. Real nightmares. <laughs> Wild. A reality television star, model, and B-movie actress, Lacey Wilde what is well known fuck? for her radical body alterations and breast proportion. The MTV documentary series True Life included Wilde, who gained considerable notoriety as a result Bro, of her appearance. This one literally looks so much bigger than the other one. Wilde you guys see that? More than or is it just me? $50,000 on breast augmentation surgery. $50,000? records. She was once a size A cup, but has subsequently graduated to a size LLL cup. Wilde has had a total of 12 operations in order to accomplish this. As of mid-2014, Wilde I swear, bro. That will bro, allow her she to can literally be sponsored in a horror movie. Like, literally. Transition to a QQQ cup. She has chosen not to reveal the identity of the doctor. I don't get why she does that, though. Like, what, why is this so, like... Who would even like those so big like that? Like, I'm not even, I wouldn't even get turned on, you know? Like, it's not it. We'll be doing That's not it. In order to prevent them from being harassed, she has said that she would be heading to Brazil, a nation that is well known for medical tourism, in order to perform the surgical procedure. It was necessary for Wild to have pigskin sewn onto her belly in order to support her breast augmentations. She described the sensation as feeling like guitar strings. She also had to string. have internal bra surgery in order to support her breasts and ensure that her skin was strong enough to hold her breasts in. The only way for Wilde to sleep is to lay at a 30 degree angle, else she would feel as if she is being suffocated. Her breasts weigh a total of 42 pounds at their present size. During the botched reality- <laughs> He said walking milk factory, literally bro, it's literally a walking milk factory. She can literally feed the whole town. <laughs> on e they run out of milk, they're all running to her house. <laughs> start your holiday shopping don't spend another dime on amazon until you watch the end tale of her oh, breast augmentation that's too much was there. that's way Wild too much had 36 cosmetic surgery procedures in order 36. to become the adult barbie that's... like the extreme barbie as she puts it she's had her buttocks expanded her eyes widened her nose thinned and a slew of additional surgeries fuck? performed on her is that her daughter if that's her daughter i feel bad because as you can see the difference but th th that's not why I feel bad, because she's going to be inspired by her mom to go get plastic surgeries now. That's why I feel bad. Number 18, Jocelyn Wildenstein. What the Jocelyn fuck? Jocelyn Wildenstein is an American socialite who is most known for her extensive she done cosmetic her face? surgery, which resulted in her unsettling look, her high-profile divorce from billionaire art dealer and businessman Alec Wildenstein in no. 1999, and her lavish lifestyle and subsequent bankruptcy filing. On September 7th, 1940, Jocelyn Steyanis da Silva Bezerra Parisat was born in Lausanne, Switzerland. Her father was a sports goods shop employee. Later, she resided in Paris with Sergio Gobi, an Italian-French director. She honed her skills as a hunter and pilot while she was there. At a shooting weekend at the Wildenstein African estate, old Joji Paris... <laughs> he didn't even want to kiss her, but he's like, nah, you, you're not it. Stay away from me. ...was introduced to Alec and Wildenstein of the affluent family of famous art dealers by Saudi weapons dealer at Nan Khashoggi. Paraset and Wildenstein married in their 30s, and they had two children together. The divorce of the Wildensteins in 1999... Bro, I swear, what, if I was a kid and I see her, I'm, I'm running away. I'm, I'm running the other direction. Jocelyn came into her New York home's bedroom to find her husband and a 19-year-old Russian model, and he threatened her with a pistol. Alda Wildenstein spent the night in prison as a consequence of this. During the hearings, the presiding judge, Marilyn Diamond, 
Received death threats <laughs> in the mail <laughs> during like her divorce. <laughs> the court ordered that she not Evil spend dead, any like of her alimony <laughs> funds for cosmetic surgery. No, bro, well, she, she's face too has undergone several creepy cosmetic looking. procedures. Her cat-like looks has earned her the moniker Catwoman, the Lion Queen, and the Bride of Wildenstein from the media. She they called her the Lion Queen? Any... What? The Lion Queen? She doesn't even look like cat. She doesn't even look like a cat, bro. She looks... Oh my because god, I can't even describe her looks. Her looks to her Swiss ancestry. Waldenstein has a reputation for living a lavish lifestyle. Her annual phone bill was reportedly $60,000. And her food and wine $60, bills were $547,000, according to her calculations. Right, Waldenstein was awarded $2.5 billion in her divorce settlement. However, she declared bankruptcy in 2018. Number 17, Nikki Rourke. Yo, don't don't fall by everyone who declare bankruptcy. Some people just declare bankruptcy because they don't want to pay taxes or they don't want to do this or pay that or pay that. So they're like, oh, let me go declare bankruptcy. But, you know, some people could be true, but they're not all true. They're not all true. A lot of them fake it. Mickey Rourke was previously regarded as one of Hollywood's most attractive actors, but his career was cut short due to boxing injuries, cosmetic surgery, and high-profile confrontations. In movies, Mickey Rourke never smiled. He only grinned with his lips closed since he'd lost several teeth as a youngster and was constantly playing gloomy roles. But it gave him something, a low-key swag or a sly demeanor. With his co-stars and the camera, he would pucker his lips and flirt. Rourke's teeth changed shape and size nearly as much as the rest of them as his career shifted back and forth in waves over the years. As he began boxing and shattered himself, his physique would expand and thicken. His face would swell and contract, stretching to its limits. Rourke is well known in politics for his divisive opinions. He was a staunch admirer of George W. Bush and a proponent of the Iraq War. He became one of the most outspoken supporters of Joe Biden's presidential candidacy in 2020, pushing for the Biden-Harris team against President Donald Trump, whom he referred to as a fat ass. <laughs> Number 16, Leo Blanco. An Argentinian yeah, yeah. man has spent more than $23,000 on like cosmetic Michael treatments Jackson. in an attempt to imitate Michael Jackson, oh my his hero. God. Leo Blanco, from Buenos Aires, makes a fortune as a Michael Jackson lookalike and has had over 11 plastic surgeries and various cosmetic treatments. I promise you. Having your own personality is better than living someone else's life, bro. Live your own life, I promise you. As a youngster, Leo was infatuated with the artist and decided that... Bro, these fake bot accounts always come here and chat. Beautiful girls here, like... F off, mate. And he off. wanted to look that. like him. However, 11 cosmetic operations later and the 22-year-old claims he is still I don't want no kids falling for it. There's kids that will come here and fall for it. We Blanco can't trust that. that he had put his body, soul, and all of his money on the line to become the finest Jackson lookalike in the world. He has undergone four procedures on his nose alone, as well as operations on his cheekbones, jaw, and yeah, chin since removed. he Did was 15 not? years old. His brows have also been tattooed on. The mimic even named Chip his Michael Jackson. Neverland, a reference to Michael Jackson's own theme park. Blanco's passion does not sit no, well I, with everyone. It literally around. looks like not even Michael Jackson. Like, only when he wears the glasses, he looks like Michael Jackson. Without them, he honestly just looks like a lesbian girl. Like, not trying to be effed up or anything, but let's be honest. L look at him like this. Does not look like Michael his Jackson. Don't skip that ad. In the next 30 seconds, it's I'm going to start a business on Shopify. Go to Shopify.com and sign up for your... ...concerned that one of his procedures might cause him to die. Number 15, Niven Siganovic. Niven Siganovic, 45, is a celebrity stylist what in the Croatian fuck? reality television. He went from looking normal to looking like this. Bro. Cosmetic surgery procedures. This 45 year old Eastern European reality TV personality recently disclosed that his most recent procedure left him with 
A constant erection. Neven Siganovic went to an Iranian clinic to have his nose done because the prices were lower and after his third nasal so operation, he had to return home to Belgrade due to an emergency. His manhood was stuck on go signal. What is the explanation for this? He has a persistent erection as a result of an allergic response to the anesthetic. Priapism is the name of this dysfunction. It is a disorder whose consequences are potentially serious, according to the French Association of Urology. This requires urgent management, the sequence of which must be well-defined in order to avoid delays in management, complications, and irreversible erectile dysfunction. Neven Bro, like, why do people do this to themselves? He literally looked normal. He looked like a normal fellow who gets girls. And now look, look at him. Why 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 do you his put his chin up and cheeks up? Direction. Eyebrows down like why? Says that he just needs one more procedure to get his ideal figure and worldwide fame. Number 14 Raji Narin Singh. What the fuck? Raji Narin Singh is an American actress, LGBT activist, author, singer, and reality television personality. She is best known for her role in the E Entertainment docuseries Botched, which chronicled her struggles to remove cement from her face, breasts, and hips after a fake doctor mismanaged her fillers. After her second appearance on the program, the majority of the concrete like material was removed off her face. Dagla is a Trinidadian ethnic oh group. My God, her father is of Indo-Trinidadian descent, while her mother is of French Afro-Trinidadian and Polynesian descent. In the late 1990s, Narin Singh came out as a transgender woman and started transitioning. I am truly aware, and it takes nothing away. What I just said takes nothing away. She went to O'Neill Ron Morris in 2005 Ooh. for filler injections in her face, breasts, and hips in an attempt to feminize her look. Morris, also known as the Duchess, filler injections, is a transgender like, woman who was well known. Is she trying to make her cheeks bigger? Like, I don't get it. Like, if I was her, I would try and make them go smaller because she's looking creepy as fuck. Bro, does she not understand? No, put them down, lady, chill out. In the Miami trans community for offering low-cost alternatives that. to professional cosmetic surgery. They're literally falling the down on how big they are. Of concrete, tire sealant, mineral oil, and glue, which Nareen Singh mistook for silicone. For many months after the injections, Nareen Singh was completely oblivious to this until her body started to react badly to the implants and her skin began to swell. Under Nareen Singh's skin, the filler solidified causing nodules to appear where the chemicals were injected. She spent the following several no, years bro. without leaving her house, too humiliated to seek treatment. Number 13. Hung Miyoku. Literally run away, bro. Literally, I will sprint. I'm gone, bitch. I'm out. I'm too fast. <laughs> no, bro. It's too crazy. Like, why do they do this to themselves? I don't get it. When I, physicians what? refused to give her any more silicone, a cosmetic surgery junkie put cooking grease into her face. Um, cooking yeah. grease. They put cooking grease. Why would she even agree to that? Bro, cooking grease, you, you're not supposed to, bro. I've seen another video of a dude who injected cooking grease into his arms to make his muscles go bigger. Oh my God, he regretted his whole life. His head became so big that, bro, search up that video on your own and, oh, that shit is bad. Yoku, a former now, model, no, has like been why? Cooking damaged grease. as a result of the DIY beauty procedure. Hung turned to cooking oil after injecting an entire bottle of black I'm not lie, bro. into her face. I feel bad. Left her face extremely bloated and disfigured. Her situation was shown on Korean television, and people contributed thousands of pounds to help her have the operation she needed. Surgeons removed 60 grams of silicone, oil, and other foreign things from her face.
face and 200 grams damn. from her neck during the first of 10 procedures. What Hung the on the fuck? other hand is still deformed and she expressed her desire to regain her former appearance. Hung underwent her first operation when she oh, was 20 sad. years old that's and sad. then she traveled to Japan for further procedures. She grew enamored with the idea of having smoother, softer skin. After her face got substantially larger, doctors finally refused to do any further treatment on her. She did, however, manage to get a vial of silicone and a syringe for self-injection, but when that ran face. out, she had to turn to bro, that's oil. Fucked up, don't face had been transformed no, to the bro, point like... that her own parents didn't recognize her. And the neighbor... I just feel bad because she went in there thinking, oh, I'm just gonna get this plastic surgery, I'm, I'm gonna look cuter, and then she goes out. She looks hideous, she, like, her face is like literally falling off type shit. Nah, bro, if that was me, I would want to kill... Okay, no, nah, if, if that was me, I would want to cry. I would be sad. Okay, I almost said that other stuff, but never. Suicide is not the answer, mate. It's not the answer. Youngsters dubbed her standing fan because of her huge face juxtaposed to her petite body. Number 12. Oh, nah, bro, that one, oh. What the fuck After is this? a hundred silicone injections, Why? a lady yearning to appear like Jessica Rabbit has achieved the unfortunate honor of possessing the Look world's her lips largest like all like Christina <laughs> Ray, 22, was sure that her tiny lips made her seem unattractive, so she paid more than 4,000 pounds to have them expanded in the form of her favorite cartoon character. Oh my Despite God. admitting to having an addiction, the nail technician intends to have her so-called trout pout made even more extreme. Each injection costs about 40 pounds and is described as very painful. But Christina from St. Petersburg, Russia remains undeterred. I believe I look beautiful and that makes me happy, she remarked. Strangers sometimes call me. I'll be honest, she's not too bad when she's looking like this, but at the same time, that's too much. That's too much. Like, she got that little nah, bruh. One nice ten though, I'm hitting. <laughs> names in the streets, such as Big Lips. But, but I don't if mind. she comes to me looking like this, then hell no, bro. That, that looks like you're fucking the devil himself. Like, I no, I'm good. I'd want to take it to the next I'm level. Good. I'd want to resemble a cartoon character. It has become an addiction for me. I adore it. Christina claims she has always thought her lips were too tiny, comparing them to others around her. Number eleven, Jordan James Park. A Kim Kardashian admirer who spent over a hundred. Oh my wait, wait, god! Stop. Don't skip this video because I've got. Please don't say he's trying to look here. like her again. That's not even close. Seventy thousand dollars on surgery and rose to fame after a botched lip procedure left him with leaking fillers. Returned to E reality show botched for the second time. The British lip king Jordan James Park, 27 of Birmingham, went to the physicians on the surgical program to convince them to do liposuction and a fourth nose procedure on him. Doctors Paul Massif and Terry Dubrow, who were overjoyed to see a familiar face return, were taken aback by his metamorphosis. Jordan, a Manchester-based aesthetician and returned patient from 2015, was briefly reintroduced to the physicians who were quick to notice his obvious physical change since their previous meeting. Like, but why, bro? Additional treatment, why? Jordan compensated for his lack of like, lip look, filler. Like, look, his lips were li like that. That they, they didn't look bad. And then they don't look in the mirror and say, oh, you know what, my lips look good. No, they say, oh, they're still tiny. Let me go again and get some more. And then they fuck up. operations, such as four nose jobs, upper eyelid surgery, like, look a how big they got. Uh, chin implant, and many rounds of liposuction. Despite Jordan's eagerness, doctors Nassif and Dubrow refused to operate and recommended against any more cosmetic procedures. Dr. Dubrow stated that further liposuction would loosen his stomach, putting him in a viscous cycle. Meanwhile, much to Jordan's dismay, Dr. Nassif stated that in order to enhance his breathing, he would have to widen his nose. Number 10, Jackie Stallone. What the fuck? After having a heart attack, 91-year-old Jackie Stallone expressed her misgivings over cosmetic surgery. Jackie Stallone has spoken out about her misgivings with cosmetic surgery 
claiming that many botched treatments have left her appearing like a chipmunk with a mouth full of walnuts. The 91-year-old socialite spoke like out yeah, she her for the first like time much. after suffering a heart attack two months ago. In an intimate sit-down interview, she also discussed her horror year, which saw her daughter Tony Ann Felitti die in her own home only six weeks after her grandson Sage died tragically. Jackie, who lives in a posh condo near the ocean in Santa Monica, attends tap dance lessons three times a week, sees a personal trainer twice a week, and plays her piano for two hours every day. I don't spend my time attending to ridiculous Hollywood parties, she explains. You must be a role model for the elderly. At 50, I really became a role model for- Well, I do a plastic surgery and hell no. Hell, I, hey, I might be ugly, but I like how I look. I like how I look, all right? I'm not doing no plastic surgeries. I'm happy with how I look. The only plastic surgery I do is getting a haircut. That's my only plastic surgery. I'm getting one today. I don't do that. I don't play with that stuff. Shot is what they fear more than anything else. However, as I grow older, I get more popular. Number nine, the woman addicted what to the fillers who admits she has no plans to stop. Why? After a doctor cautioned her about the inherent dangers of too much cosmetic Look treatment, the Instagram model who spent that more than 1,600 pounds bro. on what filler claimed she would never listen to doctors. Anastasia Pokreschik, 32, from Kiev, Ukraine, has been giving her own face injections for the last two why? years and says Just she resembled why? a hamster before her radical cheek filler. She claims she is satisfied with her appearance and called herself as the prettiest monster you will ever see on prettiest this morning with Dr. Stephen Harris, who heads the Harris Clinic in the monster I'll ever North see, yes. London. She disregarded She's Dr. Harris's warning that yeah, expensive not. filler might cause medical and psychological damage, maintaining that she is more happy with her looks now than she was before the procedure. She but added, why? I understand that this is extraordinary. However, it is natural and healthy for me, and I am content with my appearance. I will never listen to physicians. I am extremely thrilled, she said. Looking back at my photos from two years ago, I believe I was rather unattractive. Number eight. Bro, and the thing is, surgery. she looks like she would look so cute without those, whatever those are. <laughs> what the fuck are those? Like, why, 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 bro? Take them off and she would look so cute. Like, why would you even have them in the first place? But all right, chat, I think we're going to leave off over here. I really have to go get my dogs inside the house. It's snowing outside right now. And they're whining, so let me go get them inside. I, I feel kind of bad, but when I put them inside, they're going to start trying to go outside. I don't understand. But, hey, make sure you like, subscribe, hit that notification. Please subscribe. It helps me a lot. You know, it helps me go live on every day. Hey, thank you for tuning in, RK. Hey.